Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free Microsoft 7680 certification training course. I'm James Messer. And in this module, we're going to look at doing some migrations. We're going to migrate and specifically use migrations using Windows Easy Transfer. The Windows Easy Transfer is one of the requirements from the 7680 exam requirements. And this objective means that we need to know how to migrate from one machine to another, migrate from previous versions of Windows, and we need to understand the difference between a side-by-side -side migration and a wipe and load migration. So far in this series, we've done clean installations. We've done dual boot installations. We performed upgrades of operating systems. And now we're looking at doing migrations. There are instances where you're not able to take information you currently have and use an installation program to upgrade it to a new version. If you cannot upgrade, you must do a completely new install. Well, the problem, of course, is that you've got some old data on the operating system you're currently using. And if you can't upgrade, you would still like to bring that information over with you. And you have application settings. There's bookmarks in your browser. There's documents in your documents folder. You may have spreadsheets and other things that you want to be able to take into the new operating system when you go there. When there's not a direct upgrade path, this is really the only thing you have available is to migrate from one to the other. A really good example of this is Windows XP. There's so many people using Windows XP, and Windows 7 will probably be their next logical path. Well, because of the, that, there's no direct upgrade. You have to do a migration. There's really no option available to those Windows XP users. This is also useful if you're moving from one physical computer to another. If you're on an old computer, it's time for an upgrade. It's been a couple of years. You buy a brand new computer, it's probably going to have the latest operating system on it. So one easy way to take all of your settings and everything from one machine and easily and automatically move them to another machine is to use a migration tool like Windows Easy Transfer. There are a couple of ways to do migrations. One way is to do a side-by-side -side migration. We have the scenario where we have both the computers in front of us. We have an old computer, and we have a new computer, one we're going to migrate from, one we're going to migrate to. And we're going to move this information from one computer to the other in real time as these two machines are up and running. They are literally side by side when we do this. And here's a good example. The screenshot of Windows Easy Transfer shows that we could use an Easy Transfer cable, which is a specialized cable that has USB connectors on both sides. We could use a network, or we can use an external hard disk or USB flash drive. Usually, if you're doing a side by side migration in real time, you're using the Windows Easy Transfer or network connection, since those are connections that can be used both at the same time simultaneously. A wipe and load migration is very much like the name sounds. We're going to take information migrated off of a computer, wipe that computer clean, and then reload the migration. This is often done when you might only have one system. You'd like to upgrade the operating systems. You would export everything with Windows Easy Transfer. You would export it all to a hard drive. You would do a full and complete clean installation on that machine, and then you would reload it. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to do a wipe and load to the computer in the control room that in a previous version, we created a dual boot configuration. We had Windows XP. We had another partition. We loaded Windows 7. So we're going to migrate from our Windows XP, and we're going to boot into our Windows 7 and migrate everything into our Windows 7 configuration. After we finish exporting this data, we can delete everything from our old system and then copy it over. Usually, we're using an external device to do this. We're using a USB key. We're using a hard drive. We're using a network share, some place where we can temporarily store this information. And that's the idea. Once we're finished with this data, we've done the migration and everything's moved over, we can then clear it out of that extra temporary space that we were using as well. So it's an in-between point. This wipe and load is one where we're putting data out there for a limited limited amount of time until we can finally migrate it into the new operating system. 
Windows Easy Transfer can be used to migrate from Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. And when you're moving to a new computer, this is really, really useful, especially if the new computer happens to be in another location. You can do both side-by-side -side migrations and wipe and load migrations with Windows Easy Transfer. It's very, very easy to use. Let's run through a migration and see exactly what it takes to get from beginning to end through the migration process. Here's our Windows 7 desktop in the control room. And what I'd like to do is migrate from the Windows XP that we have on the dual boot side of this over to this Windows 7 desktop. The reason I started in the Windows 7 desktop, however, is because I want to use the latest version of Windows Easy Transfer that was designed and came with Windows 7. I don't want to use a migration program that's on Windows XP. That's an old operating system. It knows nothing of Windows 7. I'd like to use the latest and the greatest software. So in Windows 7, I'm going to go to my start down here, and we'll type in Windows Easy Transfer. If I spell it right, there we go. And you can see we have the option right there to run Windows Easy Transfer. And it says, welcome to Windows Easy Transfer. Here's all the things that we can use. And throughout Windows Easy Transfer, it's important to make a note of this. If you're upgrading this computer to Windows 7, think of old computer as referring to your old version of Windows and new computer as referring to your new version of Windows. So we're going to use that nomenclature as we step through this configuration. We, uh, what do you want to use to transfer items to my new computer? An easy transfer cable, a network, an external hard disk, or USB flash drive. And indeed, I am going to be using a share that's out on a flash drive. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then it asks, which computer are you using now? Is this my new computer or is this my old computer? Well, this is my new computer. And it even says, has Windows Easy Transfer already saved your files from your old computer to an external hard disk or USB flash drive? No, I've not done that yet. So it then asks, do I need to install Windows Easy Transfer on my old computer, on my Windows XP computer? And that's exactly what I need to do. My options are I need to install it now. I already installed it on my old computer, or my old computer is already running Windows 7. I need to install this now on Windows XP. And it says, where would you like to store and install Windows Easy Transfer? Well, I'd like to put it out on that shared network folder. So I'm going to choose the network configuration. There is a server out on the network. Now that it goes out and accesses that, you can see it looking at the network configuration. It's on the Daedalus server. And it's in a backups directory. That's a perfect place to put that. So I'm going to click OK. And it now takes the Easy Transfer program and copies it to that share. And what I'm going to do when this is finished is start up my Windows XP desktop. And now I'm going to work on installing Windows Easy Transfer and continuing with the migration process. I've now started up my Windows XP partition, and I've opened my Explorer to the Daedalus server to the backups area. And you can see there's a Windows Easy Transfer shortcut here and a Windows Easy Transfer folder, which also contains all the files needed to get Windows Easy Transfer installed properly onto my Windows XP machine. So let's just run this shortcut and see what we get. Please wait while Windows Easy Transfer prepares to run. It's going to start the installation process. Welcome to Windows Easy Transfer. So this looks very familiar to us. This is exactly what we saw on the Windows 7 side. And I'm going to use an external hard disk or USB flash drive to be able to transfer my files. We're going to store this on the Daedalus server. And this is my old computer. Notice it doesn't even give us any other choices than that. And it says what can be transferred. It's going to find all of the different accounts on here that are capable of being transferred and search through it for shared items and other things that it needs to collect together. Now that it's gone through the process of scanning those things, you can see that Windows Easy Transfer says that it could transfer my professor account information and shared items. And within any of these, you can choose exactly what you would like to transfer from both the user account and the shared items account. 
This is a pretty basic configuration because this is just a test system that I use. So these are not very large, but on a system that is a normal production system, something you might use every day where you store a lot of files, there could be many, many megabytes, hundreds of megabytes of files that might need to be transferred. In this case, relatively small, certainly less than 10 megabytes. So it should be really easy to get that done. 6.6 .6 megabytes is the total size. Let's click next. And it says your files and settings will be saved in the easy transfer file. And you can enter a password to protect that file. So this is a good security task. Um, you can always leave it blank, but that means that you need to be really in control of that data because if they, this is your personal information, your personal files, you don't want somebody else to have access to that. So I'm absolutely going to use a password for this. And I'm going to click Save. And it says, where would you like to save your Windows Easy Transfer file? And I'm going to put it also on that Deadlist server in that same directory is good. And now it's going to begin saving the information. And notice it says, don't use your computer until these items have been saved. You want to be sure you get everything the way it was when you click the Save button. And that's it. We'll click Next. And it says, my transfer file is complete. Open Windows Easy Transfer on your new computer. So then it's saved out on the Z drive, which is where I stored that particular mapped drive to that Deadless server. So now let's flip back to our Windows 7, and let's do the import of this data. Back on our Windows 7 desktop, let's start Windows Easy Transfer. And let's go through this process. It'll look very similar to what we've already seen here on the Windows 7 and the Windows XP desktop. I have transferred items on an external hard disk. This is my new computer. And it says, has Windows Easy Transfer already saved my files to an external hard disk or USB flash drive? Yes, it has. And it says, where are those then? And I've already mapped a drive out here on drive Z that has that information. And it says, Windows Easy Transfer items from old computer. Even names them properly. And it says, enter the password you used to help protect this file. So hopefully I'll remember what that password was. And it's opening the selected Easy Transfer file. Now I get to choose what to transfer to this computer. Even though I copied over almost everything I had on there, there were a number of things. And I can choose not to copy certain things to this particular computer or not. I'm going to choose everything, though. We'll keep it the default so you can see everything that's on here. And I'll click Transfer. And it says, transferring items to this computer. Do not use this computer until the transfer is complete. When everything is finally migrated over, it says the transfer is complete. And I can have transfer reports that will tell me what was transferred and things you might want to install on the new computer now that you've moved those files over. And there is an easy transfer reports we can look at. If you want to see what was transferred, we can click that. And these are the reports that will come up telling me what was transferred and what programs I might want to make sure are available. Notice that I have Windows Movie Maker and Outlook Express information. It's not available in this version of Windows. And there were other programs from Microsoft and that Oracle VMware VirtualBox that it tells me I might want to install as well. And there, we're now finished with the transfer to make everything now back where it needs to be and be able to have exactly the right information here. We need to restart now. And we'll be back to our Windows 7. And everything has now been migrated from our Windows XP system over to our Windows 7. Let's review some of the things we've learned in this episode. What is the minimum requirement of computers required for a wipe and load migration? If you recall, the wipe and load is one where we export information, we delete what's on a machine, and we restore it. So the minimum number we would need would be just a single computer to complete that migration. Another question, what sources can you use to install the latest version of Windows Easy Transfer onto the old computer? Well, obviously, this will need to be something where we are temporarily storing the installation so that we can move it to the other computer. So that means something like an external hard disk, a shared folder, or a USB flash drive. And our last question, how can you connect two computers in a side-by-side -side migration? There are a couple of ways to do it. We could choose the Easy Transfer USB cable, that special USB connection, or a regular network connection that's connecting these two computers over an Ethernet network. 
We've now been able to do a migration using Windows Easy Transfer, where we've migrated from one machine to another. And we've even migrated from a previous version of Windows to a new version of Windows. And now you understand more about the side-by-side -side versus the wipe and load methods of doing migrations. If you'd like to see any of our absolutely free Microsoft certification videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards or send me a message, you can visit our website at ProfessorMesser.com.